hey, Sean. Uh, hope you're staying warm, staying safe. Um, just, uh, I guess, just the game itself first. Can you tell us about injuries? Have you ruled anyone out for this game? Um, can you give us an update on that front? Yeah, so I'll start with the guys that were ill the other day. Um, most of those guys are trending in the right direction just as a group. So no need to get more specific at this point. Um, uh, as you know, we, we uh, put Jake Coomer on IR yesterday. And then out for this game is Greg Rousseau, Tremaine Edmonds, and, uh, and Tredavious White. Okay. And um, just can you just describe what the past 24 hours have been like for you guys having to now pivot, go to Detroit, your virtual today, just what – um, what has it been like for you trying to, uh, you know, make these adjustments, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's, it's nothing new for, for a football season, right? And um, I think it's really important that we control the controllables, as we always talk about. And, and uh, um, you know, I thought our team, uh, our operations team, led by Ron Rakui and Brandon Bean and Derek, Andy Major, all the, all the people inside, uh, the bills really came together well yesterday and, and helped to help to get this done. And um, in terms of, you know, uh, um, the logistics going forward for us, once the decision is made by the NFL and then, uh, and then the team was resilient as well as always. And, and we, we were able to get a little bit of a walkthrough in yesterday um, at the end of meetings, just to try and anticipate what we, uh, what we see now outside of our windows here. So um, I think they've done a great job so far. And what is your travel schedule like? As I know Brandon mentioned, trying to make things as routine as possible, but um, what, what's your travel schedule um, heading to Detroit look like? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously um, TBD at this point. Um, we want to head out tomorrow uh, as close to the normal time as possible. However, um, again, seeing what's happening around us right now, just want to make sure that all the staff and players families are safe and, and dug out before we can uh before we want to you know try and get out of here just so you know everyone's mind is in the right spot um knowing that their families are all safe great thanks sean appreciate it sure hey sean um ruling out Tredavi is something while he's been active you haven't done the, the previous few weeks what is different this time around that makes you make that move right now yeah, it's just he's not ready to play. So, okay. And then I saw Josh has been limited the the past two days. We know he said he's going to have to manage things. Haven't we during the media portion haven't seen him throw? How much of that was he able to do over the past couple of days? Yeah, we've been. Um, you know, the plan this week is very similar to what it was last week, John, and and uh, and today would have been some, similar to last uh, last Friday as well, um, where he was limited. So. Um, you know, it's, it's been just like last week for the most part, and uh, we'll continue to do, do as such. And lastly, game plan wise, does it change now that you're indoors, the elements will not be a factor? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, because of what was being forecasted around, around Buffalo, you know, we were having an eye on it, I'm sure they were as well, and, and how that would have impacted game planning, uh, game management and whatnot. And now it's, being that it's indoors, it's more of a static environment in there, right? So um, you're kind of back to maybe preseason or regular, early regular season type of conditions, if you will. Thanks, Sean. Yep. Hey, Sean, I know Heather kind of alluded it to alluded to it in her question, but is it a possibility if the weather continues to be an issue to fly out Sunday morning and then have the game potentially pushed back to a later time? Is that still on the table? Well, I mean, I, I don't even really want to go down that rabbit hole right now. Um, and I don't even know if, if uh, you know, either logistically or by NFL rules, if that's even allowed, um, that's kind of outside of my lane right now. So, um, so we're just focused on everything going off, you know, at, at the normal time, Sunday at one o'clock there. Understanding the severity of the situation have you been able to talk to any of your players about the lighter side of things and just out of snow that they've seen outside I know a lot of them have been posting about it on social media for some of them it's the first time they've ever seen anything like this yeah I know a couple of the young guys it was the first time they had seen seen snow even earlier in the week here and uh you know it's it's kind of a cool experience to to see some of the smiles and it looks on the on the guys faces who have never been around snow you know whether it be from the west coast or down south or 
And then there is the, the caution side with trying to, you know, navigate life in, in snow and conditions like this. So, um, yeah, we're, we're all, we were able to jump on a zoom this morning. We're all there for one another. Uh, guys had, had a good, uh, good vibe to them this morning on the zoom right before I jumped on here with you guys. And I think some of the, some of the guys are really enjoying it and having some fun with it also. Cool. Thanks, Sean. We'll see you in Detroit whenever that is. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, Sean, hope you and the family are all doing well. Um, To follow up on that Zoom, was that just football side or was that more just to check in on people? And if so, why was that important? Yeah, both. I mean, um, you know, I want to make sure I can look the guys in the eye. And uh, most of the guys were able to get on, staff included. A couple of them have lost power. So uh, I think we have a handful of guys who have lost power, weren't able to get on. And, um, so, but for the most part, everyone looked like they were safe and doing well. And, and, uh, and I hope you are as well, Catherine, this is, uh, sometimes things get a little bit bigger than, than football. And, um, and then, you know, we, I think the thing we also have to understand and, 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 uh, remember is that there's people out there that are working in this and having to get to hospitals and, and whatnot. So there's a lot, a lot more going on. That's more important than, than football today. What is it like to be having all those conversations when you're also, you know, planning for different game plans and everything? How can that, you know, maybe bring the team together in some ways? Or what is that like just when it is so much bigger? Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, when you share experiences like this, I think it has a, has an opportunity. It has a chance to bring your team closer together. And I think there's there's a lot of good to that. Um, you can get some good energy from things like this, some some good continuity and, and chemistry and, and I think there's some some good to it when when guys pull together and, and rally for a cause here and then I know you guys have done virtual meetings you know in the past when all the teams had to do them is there anything you guys learned from that that's helping this week even though I know it's not the same situation where it's just the bills are having to do it yeah I mean listen I if if uh, this was prior to COVID I don't even know if we'd be able to do this like we're doing it here in, uh, on zoom um, I'm sure Zoom technology was around, but I wasn't aware of it. And, uh, um, you know, the other piece is, you know, we're able to get on Zoom this morning with with players and some of the guys are pretty, pretty savvy with with computers and putting some creative backgrounds uh, and pictures up there. And uh, whether they're screensavers or whatever, it was pretty uh, it was pretty light at times, which was good to see. Thanks. And then last for me to jump topics, um, you mentioned with Jake now on IR, you guys are a little thinner at wide receiver. How is Marquez looking and just what's that group? like in general, if numbers are a little low. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, with it's speedy coming back there, I think he looked pretty good coming off the injury, you know, seeing how he'd been out for a number of weeks. And then uh, we have some other young players there and, and then Tanner's been, been with us for a few years and done a good job. And so we'll see what we need to do potentially game time wise with that. And um, I think all those guys are, are giving us great effort in practice. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Yep. Sure. Coach, good morning. Mookie Hawkins, one full sports, 1080. Enjoying the snow. Morning. morning. Yeah. Get it. I'm going to get out there once we can get through this. Absolutely, Coach. Um, how has, you know, just the illness, the weather, uh, how has that played a part in how you guys practice and prepare for this week? Yeah, again, I mean, things come up sometimes that you can't control, and, and then it's our job to control those controllables, and I think the players have been very resilient through it. Um, you know, even, even as late as, uh, you know, last night where we were able, able to stick around a little bit longer, anticipating this a little bit just to get some, some more reps through a walkthrough type of, uh, type of pace there to give us a chance in case we didn't practice today because we did miss practice on Wednesday due to the illness, as you said. No doubt, Coach. And, um, you know, with Jay Kumro's injury, you get another familiar guy back in A.J. Klein at the right time. Care to talk about that luxury and the importance of bringing a guy like that back? Yeah, again, it's always, I've said this before, it's always, it's always cool when you, when a guy that's played for you before and then, and then left um, for his decision, obviously, and, and, and then things come full circle and him, him wanting to come back. And uh, um, so it's, it's great when, when that, when those things happen, it, I think it speaks a lot about how you do things and the people we have and the team we have. No doubt, Coach, and uh, with everything that's been going on this week, and how does your team bounce back from a two-game skit? Well, we got to make the, the adjustments that we have to make, uh, and I think it really comes down to taking care of the football and and uh, playing better in some situ- certain situations in situational football, and um, that all leads to the complementary piece that, that you need to win games. Absolutely, Coach. Safe travels. Good luck this week. All right. Thanks, Mookie. Be safe. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, hey, Sean, um, I was talking to Vaughn on Wednesday. 
Um, and I asked him about his impressions of you. And he said, sometimes you can kind of feel a championship vibe about a person, maybe before they ever even win a championship. And I'm like, and I just got to thinking about it for a second. It's like, what have been your impressions now nine games in? Because we talk so much in training camp about having Vaughn. What's he meant to you guys now nine games into it all? Yeah, it's funny you say that because um, when I when I think about Vaughn and, I, and I'm around him and I've had a chance to be around him, um, and he's won, he's won a few championships and, and I, and I would agree with that assessment of, you know, there's, there's a championship or a champion look in people's eyes that are winners and champions. And, uh, and sometimes that's even before they've won a championship. And then, and that's just, I think that's just a standard in life and how you do things that your dedication, your burning desire that you have in your heart and, and your way of life every day. And, and, um, and so, you know, he's been a great addition to our team, um, in a lot of ways and, uh, the, I think the biggest thing that is just really cool about Vaughn is that he's such a team player. Um, he does everything that's asked. Um, he serves and, and serve in the way that he serves his teammates. Um, so, and, you know, from a, from a star factor, if you will, um, he's, he's pretty low key around the facility and, and uh, just one of the guys. Mm -hmm. And then for AJ, I know you, you mentioned him a little bit, any limitations on him this week? Is it pretty seamless transition back? I know he isn't, probably even practice. What are the expectations with him for Sunday? Yeah, I think we'll see, um, you know, be, him being in the system for, for multiple years before, I think his recall be, will be pretty quick. We'll see how it goes once we can get around them um, here in person. And then we'll see if, uh, if, if his number's called this weekend here. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Yep. Sure. Hey, Sean, it's Waro. Um, hope you're doing well. How, how are you, what is this, I know you went through this back in 2017, but that, but you guys did play a game. What has this experience been like? And are you getting calls from like family members and like, as we all do in Buffalo when, when, when weather makes big news here? No. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just the uh, same for any, you know, NFL member, right? We're all the same. We're all human beings and people are checking on, checking on us here, you know, whether it's texts or from friends or calls from family. Um, you know, I think my family is upstairs, uh, on, on a call with my, with my folks and they're checking in on us. So yeah, it's all, that's all the human part of all this. And uh, like I said before, some things are a little bit bigger than football right now. Just making sure everyone's okay. You said you wanted to get out there just, to, uh, was, was that just to enjoy the, enjoy the snow or maybe, <laughs> maybe she's got you on shovel duty. Yeah, I would say, uh, take care of my job here first. And then, uh, try and get out there and like everybody else will be doing, just trying to stay ahead of this in terms of shovel duty and, and uh, making sure everything's safe outside. And just the thought process of going to Detroit and Brandon talked about um, you, you're, you're going to be, you've, you've selected the visitor's room, the visitor's sideline and the visitor's booth. Um, how, how much do you think that that just gets you accustomed, uh, you know, to, to, to knowing that you're going to be there in, in five days or so? Again. Yeah, I think that's that's just part of it. I, don't, I wouldn't make too much of it, really, but uh, that's part of it. Just the, just the comfort level from one week to the next. But we're really just focused on on this week right now. Fair. Thanks. Uh, safe travels. All right. Thanks, John. Morning, Coach. Um, a couple of guys have asked about AJ. Uh, <laughs> did he get in yet, or is he still somewhere else at this point in time? And is he going to meet you guys in Detroit? Can you just walk us through his logistics? Yeah, no, he's here. He's in town. Um, we were able to, you know, obviously do the physical uh, yesterday evening and then get him some some resources in his hands uh, before before the snow really started. So other than that, there, you know, we didn't really get too much time around him. I haven't even seen him myself, but we were able to you know, get some things out to him and and, uh, you know, we'll see how he does today, at least uh, verbally and then and then hopefully get around him tomorrow before we go. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Um, first, I just wanted to clarify on Jake. Are you expecting that he could come back this year, or what's your expectation with him? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where that goes. I mean, with all those guys, um, you've got to take it one week at a time. And then I was curious. I know you said tomorrow's TBD, and totally understanding the conditions are all up in the air. But what does that look like, like behind the scenes, guys being able to get to the airport and helping out? Like, what's the work being done by the staff there, kind of behind the scenes that maybe people wouldn't know about? Yeah, I, you know, more than anything, I think is you know, again, people's safety is number one, the number one priority there. Um, 
playing a little bit of a wait and see game right now, but anticipating um, having to move some things back in the morning if it does slow down, which that's the latest we're hearing is it's supposed to slow down uh, early tomorrow morning around around the stadium here and in Orchard Park and whatnot, and then give guys time to dig out, make sure their families are good, and then we'll head into the facility uh, probably in a move back schedule um, just to allow for for that.